Hello Virgo, thank you very much for tuning in to this week's read. For the main part of the read, I'm using Gilded Tarot Royale by Cyril Marchetti, text by Barbara Moore. Website at the bottom is Llewellyn.com, and there's also Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram information. Feel free to check out whatever might interest you, of course. Of course. Um, supportive Oracle Cards, Spellcasting Oracle Cards by... Flavia, Barbara, and Lizbeth. On the back here are the websites. She Who Is Art pops out to me. I think that's near the bottom. There's also a couple others. Feel free to freeze frame and check out whatever you'd like to check out. Okay. Virgo. Virgo. Virgo, go, go. Virgo, go, go. Okay, why not? Why not? Well, you got the Knight of Wands came right out, so maybe you are ver 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 going. Ver go go going. Ver go go going. Yeah, you got a lot of fire coming out here. <laughs> um I'm trying to keep up with the situation is what I keep getting. I'm trying to keep up with the situation. Uh, one more? Okay. This, I put this way over there, but justice is showing up, but it seems like it might be showing up way down the road. Um, way down the road. So justice seems to show up, but way down the road. Somebody's trying to keep things going. Somebody's been putting in a lot of effort. A lot of effort has been going on for a while. I feel like this, like the norm is being upset. When I see the Knight of Pentacles come up to the Knight of, um, Fire, that's like an abrupt change. That's something going different. Um, and I also get like, this is not really wanted. I, the, um, is it? I don't think you, uh, you're not expecting it, that's for sure. I don't know if other people will were. Other people might have known this was going to come and happen for whatever reason. Or like, seems like other people, like either, either they knew it was going to happen or they had one of those just-in-case plans. Like, that could happen. If it does happen, this is what I'm going to do. So I don't know if they knew it was going to happen, or they just had that backup plan. Like, that's a possibility. If that possibility happens, this is what I'm going to do. You don't seem to have been connected to that. Like, I don't see this being on your radar at all when this comes forward, whatever's happening. Um, because something's not going the same. Something is changing. It's very abrupt. I don't feel like I... It's weird. It's kind of like... It's kind of like I, I, I've i been riding a bike this whole time and now I have to run, which is a different experience that, that's like... If you're used to riding a bike and you get at a certain distance at a certain pace and you put... You know what I mean? You, you Your muscles are used to that and then you have to... All of a sudden you have to switch and run. You're like... And they're acting like... And whoever you're dealing with is acting like, what? It's not a big deal. And you're kind of like, no, it is. Like, I think it is, anyway. Switching from riding a bike to running, I feel like that's a big difference, personally. Um, you're, you're still using your legs, but, like, it's different. I feel like it's different. Um, I haven't ridden a bike in a while, though. I know if we use a better, maybe a better analogy is uh, roller skating. If you switch from running to roller skating, I can guarantee you, because I've experienced that, <laughs> you would definitely use different muscles and your legs will hurt. But you don't, it's not the same. And they're treating it like, oh, we were just riding a bike before, now we're running. It's not a big deal. Just keep moving. Just keep going. Just just keep moving. You don't even move forward in the, as fast. Like, you get much farther on a bike. You don't get as far as far the same energy running. You just don't. The bike helps you get farther. Um, they're acting like it's the same, but it's not. And you're like, it's obviously, <laughs> it's kind of like one of those things where I'm not even going to argue it because you're clearly wrong. It is completely different. So, but you're acting like it's the same. It's not. Um, they're, they're really, somebody's like pushing it forward and they're just kind of like, nope, just keep going. Just keep going. They got the seven of wands and the willpower. Nope, nope. Keep going. Keep going. Just keep going. Just keep going. Are they like, are they experiencing some type of make, mental breakdown? Like why, why are they like this? Did they, is it just because they knew or why are they pushing? Why are they not backing down? Why are they not even acknowledging things? The Emperor and the Two of Cups. They what this is, they want. They want and they're not willing to give it up. I don't 
there's grieving and healing, like, these are compatible. You know what I mean? Part of the healing process is grieving sometimes, like, or, you know, part of the grieving process is healing, I believe. I don't know how that works. Um, I know that the grieving process is much more detailed, like, they've done more research and they've updated how that really goes, so it used to be, like, five things. It's a whole, like, there's this whole flow chart, this whole thing, if you look it up. But I'm, like, healing, I believe, is in there. I believe it's in there. I mean, right? Hopefully. Um, these two can be compatible. You seem to be more in the grieving and accepting, which allows you to heal. It's like you have to accept that something isn't right, that there's something to grieve. It seems like you have to do that to get to that. You have to grieve to get... In this situation, that's how it feels to me. You have to accept that something isn't working out and you have to start grieving it so then I can achieve the healing later. It's like I have to accept it. The energy you're dealing with, not... Not. They can't accept... They can't accept it. They can't. Because they can't accept it, they can't heal. So they're not... Well, they're not healing, but... It kind of reminds me, if we're going to use the running analogy again, Some sometimes, some things that when you hurt yourself running, if you keep running, some injuries, if you keep running, you, you'll make it much worse. <laughs> and it, the more you push yourself, the more you force yourself to keep running, the worse the damage is going to be. Um, and I'm wondering if this is kind of going on for them, because I think it is. Because they're not willing to give it up. They don't want to. They love what it is, and they're not willing to... Are they going to have, like... Is this going to be them? Strength upside down. And then the Ace of Cups. Um, it's hard. They have to accept they have to accept that this isn't working. They seem to feel like they knew this was coming or they had some type of backup plan and if they just don't give into it and they just keep running, keep going, keep moving, that things will work out. Um you want to believe in them, is what I'm getting with the, the Knight of Cups. You got three knights. You're really trying to back this up. You're really trying to help. You're trying to keep it from failing. You know it's not really working. You're like, no, no, this isn't working. But I feel like I want to believe in them, so I'm trying. Like, maybe they know something I don't. Maybe they know something I don't, and I'll just keep going. I'll keep trying. But the thing is, the situation is not. It's like in a stalemate. I feel like you're more in the grieving energy, though. Okay? I feel like you're accepting it. It doesn't look right to you. You seem to keep supporting it for this other person. Or maybe, I don't know, if it's, especially if it's a work thing, I feel like, well, I have to. I feel like, well, that's what I got to do. Um, I'm doing what I have to do, but the situation is stagnating. It's stuck. But I, I say this a lot with the hanged man card over here. Um, it's not. That's not really a way to live. So, I mean... Not for nothing, if you just hang there and nobody takes care of you, you just hang there. <laughs> you can only hang there so long without food and water, you know what I'm saying? Um, you can only hang there so long. Something comes in. Somebody brings in the truth. This is a weird connection. Somebody comes in, and they just kind of like... It's very interesting. These I feel like this is very cold. Whoever comes into this, I know that this is a this is a fire card because it's, um, Temperance sometimes talks about Sagittarius. Sagittarius is a fire sign. It feels this whole connection feels very cold to me. I feel like when I'm getting the fire, I feel like you know. I feel like I'm coming up to this temple, and the fire is in these little alcoves, and they just give off light, but they can't get closer. I can't get close enough to them to really get heat from them. So I see the fire, but I don't. I don't get any warmth from it. I just. It's like illuminating the situation, but it's not providing me any warmth because I can't get that close to it. That's what I feel. It feels very cold when this person comes in. I don't think they're trying to be cold. I don't think that's like a goal or anything. I just feel like it's very matter of fact. Somebody comes in and just kind of says, listen, this is what's going on, and I don't know what you're doing, but that's, you're wasting time. Or they're, they're shutting it down. Somebody's just flat out. I don't know how they're doing it, but they're shutting it down. It feels cold. I don't think, again, I don't think they're trying to be cold. It just, it's kind of like, this is just what it is, so we just got to deal with what it actually is. Um, and it comes in very quickly. It just seems to, like, whoever this is just says what they need to say. 
They put it in a line, they shut it down, they walk away. So, again, I don't think this person, I don't know. I just, I think the point of it is, like, don't expect any comp, um, compassion there. Because I don't think you're going to get any, I don't think anybody is. But they're just kind of like, this is what it is, okay, that's it, okay, you're no good, good. And they're out. They're just out. Um, it doesn't feel like a blessing, but it is. Um, it's a quick thing that comes in, and now once this person says what they say, then we have to make new choices. It's a blessing, and then we have to, like, it's like later on, we have to get into this. We have, this is our goal. This is where we want to get to inspiration. We have to accept what's going on. Like, we're going back to, like, to get to the healing, we have to go through the grieving, whatever it is, whatever this is, like whatever you were looking forward to, whatever this was about, it has to be grieve it, gr grieved. It doesn't, grieving doesn't always have to uh, pertain to somebody passing away. I think most of us know that, but just in case, like it doesn't mean somebody physically passed away. Could be like, you know, when you, it's like the canceling of a wedding, you know, or the, you know, um, or you, when you realize a school you were going for, you realize you were rejected, you're not going to go there and you were really like, all set to go, you thought for sure you were going to go there, then you find out you were rejected, and that's not going to happen. You know what I mean? Stuff like that. That This is kind of more what I'm going with with this energy. That's kind of what I'm feeling. A more of a rejection feel. Um, but there's other things later. It's just kind of, things will get good again. Inspiration is out there. Justice is out there, but I feel like they're way down the road. So, like, this state won't last forever. When this person comes in, though, I feel like I already knew... That, that I knew that that was going to be a thing. This is in your thoughts and feelings. You kind of knew when this person had to face the music that they were going to be completely devastated. This is, I don't feel like you're devastated. I feel like you're kind of like, no, I was pretty sure that was going to happen. The way it was going, like, no, I don't understand why we're still pushing forward. I think this already failed. Maybe they know something I don't, but I don't know. So you're not, when this finally happens, you're not really shocked, but you're like, you're afraid that they're going to have a tower moment. I feel like it's a fear for somebody else because it comes up in a spot where it's like your thoughts and feelings, not really what's happening to you, but more like, I feel like I'm more concerned or, you know, my energy is going towards somebody else. Like they're going to have that. They're going to have this moment and that's going to not be fun. And this is one of those times where you're going to be right and you wish you weren't. <laughs> we all have those moments, don't we? Kind of like, I knew that was going to be that way, and I really wish I was wrong, but I was right. Because um, the Ten of Swords shows up, it's just complete devastation. It matches up with that um, Ten of Swords. I'm not saying you're going to be skipping down the street about it, but I feel like you're kind of more grounded with it. Kind of like, yeah, that was going to happen. This was going to be the way this was going to be. Uh, you seem more grounded with it. You have this energy to keep pulling it forward. I feel like you're holding this person together. Afterwards, I'm getting this card, but well, I'm really kind of interested in the picture. I know it says reconciliation, but I don't see like I don't think we're gonna get anything back. I feel like you're helping this person get back on their feet, so that might be the reconciliation. But like the two people holding hands and like holding each other up in a way, that's what I'm feeling there. Like they're, you're supporting somebody, you're doing your best to help them, you're helping them get through it. Like, bringing them, helping bringing them back to their strength and helping them pick themselves up and keep going or getting through this situation, like, just kind of being a support. That's what I get from this card. I don't think, I mean, justice comes in later, inspiration comes in later, but I feel like it's something else, something different. The, the, that reconciliation card makes me feel like you're helping them, help maybe helping them reconcile what happened, like, reconcile the past, reconcile what fell apart here. And helping them gather themselves and move forward on their terms. Like just kind of being a support, that type of thing. Whew. Um, that's that's what the message is. Are we good? I think that's it. That's what the message is. I mean, it's not sunshine roses, but I don't usually do sunshine roses. I hope it's not. I hope it's uplifting. I hope it empowers you in some way to handle this. If this is happening, if this reading is hitting, of course, because it's general read, obviously. I hope that this empowers you in some way to handle this in a way that, you know, is just easier, hopefully. Something. All right. Thank you for watching. I hope that helps. Uh, if you'd like a direct reading from me, shoot me an email, jamesforastral at gmail.com. That's james, the number four, astral at gmail.com. If you're interested in the donation information, that's below. Same email. Thank you again for watching, and have a great day.